Good morning, everyone. Today is the final day of the show. Can you believe it? We have three keynotes left until the end of the show. Like Monique said at the beginning of this show, you all are really the heartbeat of what we do. So with that, let's kick off on our last set of keynotes. It's 56% of all cyber attacks are aimed at small businesses. Um, so they are the, they're viewed as being the most vulnerable player in the ecosystem, 56%. A third of all businesses, of all small businesses have been breached. So you have a third of small businesses being breached and 60% of those will go out of business. Not because they have a poor product or they can't compete or they don't know how to run their core business, yeah. but because they weren't protected on the peripheral. We're passionate about it. That's the reason why we were a founding partner of the Cyber Readiness Institute, which makes available both advice and tools for free. First time we actually had a uh, speech-based conversational system, it was to control your TV set. Mm. Uh, we had one of our advisors sitting there and I gave him the, the microphone and said, you can talk to your TV. Uh, and he just sat there and uh, didn't say anything. <laughs> All this engineering went in there and uh, he turned to me and said, well, I've never actually talked to my TV before, so I don't really know what to say. And so we do have a little bit of that right now. We do have technology that in certain aspects, such as deep learning, uh, neural networks, um, is uh, very, very powerful. Uh, but we're qu not quite there in knowing where and how to apply them. You know, some banks that are starting out on this journey will need to think really carefully about how they demonstrate the value of this technology. One of the things I suggest to banks is, you know, start with the business problem uh, and work back to the technology. Um, some people are using AI like a, mis a missile to kill a mosquito, if you like. And, you know, that's why some, that's why some of them are starting with financial crime, because it's an easy business case to stack up. What is a financial crash test dummy like? It's making sure that you have very tight risk limits around what you're trading and make sure that as soon as those are breached, ultimately the machine knows to put its hand up and say something is wrong here. Every company in the not too distant future will be a fintech company. And so for instance, I'll often ask broader audiences, like how many people work for a fintech company? Maybe 10% of the hands will go up and be like, great, if none of you change jobs, five years from now, a massive portion of your net income is gonna come from financial services. I think with the Prudential transaction, JP Morgan just bought a company for 600 million bucks that uh, was pretty epic. And so I, th I think you're going to see more FIs getting in the game, realizing if they don't move, they're going to die, right? Or die slowly. I'd like to thank all of our speakers who provided such great thought leadership and content throughout the event. But most of all, we want to thank you and look forward to seeing you next year. S squared out. <laughs>